It's locked. Give me a moment. It must be strange for you, discovering my existence as you have. I'm actually curious to know what your mother might have said about me. I've always wondered what life might have been like had she and I stayed together. How is she, by the way? Dead. Murdered. What? I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, you're sorry. I found my mother burning alive. I'll never forget her face as she sent me away. Charles Lee is responsible for her death by your order. And you're sorry. It's impossible. I gave no such order. I spoke the opposite, in fact. I told them to give up the search for the precursor site. We were to focus on more practical pursuit. It is done. And I'm all out of forgiveness. Benjamin Church, you stand accused of betraying the Templar Order and abandoning our principles in pursuit of personal gain. In consideration of your crime, I hereby sentence you to death. No! You're too late. Church and the cargo are long gone. And I'm afraid you won't be in any condition to follow. We've chosen to stand with the victor. It's Britain who will win this war. You always did prefer principle to profit. Perhaps that's why your little kingdom started to crumble. It was a nice dream you had, but a dream is all it ever was. Look at the half-breed fight, like some feral dog. Best we put him down, boys. Sanctum! Get him! Don't let them escape! Get it! The Indian, too! Take him down! That one! And he's half free! Surround them! Where is church? I'll tell you anything you want. Only promise that you'll let me live. You have my word. He left yesterday for Martinique. Took passage on a trading sloop called the Welcome. Loaded half its hold with the supplies he stole from the Patriots. That's all I know, I swear. <laughs> you promised. And he kept his word. Let's go. We need to get out of here. You don't say. so far. You'll need to find a way around the flames. Get back here, traitors! Oh, how I'll enjoy making you pay for your betrayal. The church paid well, be rewarded handsomely, and what good does your gold do you now?
See if you can find something to pry it open. Honor? What are you up to? Oh, no. Don't do that. There's no way of knowing what's on the other side! We do now. <clears throat> Church is at least a day on us. We must move quickly if we're to catch him. I have a ship we can use. Meet me on the pier when you're ready. Shall we? I told you this was a poor heading. Church is surely days ahead of us now. Have some faith in the boy. He's yet to disappoint. Well, the bar's not been set very high now, has it? We are closer than you think, Father. the welcome. Aye, and she's dropped anchor. Bring us in for a closer look, son. It seems the ship has been abandoned. Church always was a slippery little bastard. After them! Full sail!
It's almost as though you want him to escape. chance at this. It's almost as though you want him to escape. Perhaps someone with more experience should take the wheel. Him. What other choice have we? Those rocks would crush us! The current here is swift. We still have a chance. Enemy ships approaching! Ready our weapons! The battery turns fire! Church is using the ambush as cover! Meet him before he escapes! Send that bastard to the... ...the floor. No! I need his ship afloat! The cargo must be saved!
Prepare to board! What are you doing? Ending this. What has Church done with the cargo? It's been quite an adventure. Let me tell you, working my way through your nasty little tricks and traps. Clever! Some of them anyway. I'll give you credit. I came here for a reason. Different reasons, it seems. Where are the supplies you stole? are meant for men and women who believe in something bigger than themselves who fight and die that one day they might be free from tyranny such as yours <laughs> are these the same men and women who fight with muskets forged from british steel who bind their wounds with bandages sewn by british hands how convenient for them we do the work they reap the rewards. You spin a story to excuse your crimes. As though you're the innocent one and they the thieves. It's all a matter of perspective. There is no single path for life that's right and fair and does no harm. Do you truly think the crown has no cause? No right 
To feel betrayed? You should know better than this. As dedicated as you are to fighting Templars, who themselves see their work as just. Think on that the next time you insist your work alone befits the greater good. Your enemy would beg to differ. And would not be without cause. Zamanios kina ne tiah ne te kantu ti dogaske. Passing was a boon for us both. Come on. I expect you'll want my help retrieving everything from the island. I have been reunited with my father, but I do not yet know if this bodes well or ill. Our goals are aligned, at least so far as independence is concerned. But he continues to defend Charles Lee, the man who murdered my mother and burned my village. Still, he makes a point about Washington and those who back him. I hear much talk of freedom and equality. But it seems one must be a landed white man to benefit. What if someone like me? Or Suri? What role for us in this new world? Is my father right then? There is so much I must consider and so little time in which to do it. Welcome back. And how was Martinique? Achilles, I... I owe you an apology. It was wrong of me to say the things I did. Your words were harsh, Connor. But there was also truth there. I fear the Order allowed the Templars to take control. But now their hold is weakened. Which makes me believe there's a chance for peace. Imagine what might be accomplished if we were to unite. Why the change of heart? Where is this coming from? You've met your father, haven't you? I do not claim to trust the man or even like him. But I would be remiss to ignore this opportunity. Atham may listen, but will he understand? And even if he does, will he agree? Even he must admit that we can achieve more together than we do alone. I assume you're off to find him. Yes. I ride for New York to see what might be done.
These men have been found guilty of treason and conspiracy. Crimes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you ever so much. <laughs> need to know what the Loyalists are planning, if we're to put an end to this. I've tried, but the soldiers themselves are told nothing now, only to await orders from above. Keep digging. Come find me when you have something worth sharing. We're so close to victory. A few more well-placed attacks and we'll be able to put an end to the Civil War and be rid of the Crown. What do you intend? Well, nothing at the moment, since we're completely in the dark. I thought the Templars had eyes and ears everywhere. Oh, we did until you started cutting them off. Your contact said orders from above. It tells us exactly what we need to do. Track down the Loyalist commanders. Have you considered the proposal? I'm unconvinced. To reinforce them would leave New York exposed. It's hard enough maintaining order with our current numbers. Cut in half. Yet if we do not join with them, they risk defeat. And then what? Well, they should have come by sea. Well, they're talking in circles. We're nothing watching as we are. Then what do you propose we do? March in there and demand answers? Well, yes. Connor, little help here. Leave the commanders alive, Connor. We can interrogate them.
bring them back to my quarters at Fort George and see what secrets they might share. <sighs> really? Well, you best get after him then. You go. I will watch the prisoners. No, you do it. Why me? Because I said so. Now go. Move. Go to hell. I said move. Wait, wait. I I'll tell you anything you want. Anything. Only don't make We just have some there. questions for you. Cross that threshold, and I'm a dead man. There you are, Connor. I was worried you might have gotten lost. Come along, then. 